I was pretty much daddy's girl growing up. And I'm still a daddy's girl and get my way. My dad would give me a minimum of 10 to 20,000 every month just on my lifestyle. On my birthday, he gave me a chunk of $50,000 and that went towards my first Brazilian butt lift and breast implant. In my lifetime, I have spent over $1 million on plastic surgery and procedures, including beauty treatments, makeup, glam squat. I had a rhinoplasty, two breast augmentations with implants, two Brazilian butt lifts, two rounds of hydrogel injections, and I am only 19 years old. You know the ribs do supply an important function. They provide armor coverage over your lungs, your liver, your spleen, you know, kidneys. things like that, the kidneys. I mean, they're really important, you know? I agree with him. <laughs> they are very important. And you already have a abnormality. If you change the basic architecture of your thoracic cage structure, that might even change your scapular asymmetry even more, make you look really weird. No, I don't want that. Yeah, you don't want to look weird. Weird, not good. I'll give my body a break and I won't have those surgeries. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting nice you. Thank you. For now. So obviously, there have been some issues there with your breasts. There have been a lot of them. How many operations have you had? 15. <laughs> 15? 15 breast surgeries? Yeah. If someone has failed breast implant surgery so many times, they just may not be a candidate for breast implants ever in the future. So ultimately, the mound was all the way down here, right? They put wow. this big implant in, but this is on the abdomen. Who has a breast down here? Jody, your case has a very high probability of failure. Okay. I think it's probably less than 50% chance of success. Yeah. Right? You want to do this thing? Yeah. I don't even remember what it feels like to put on a bathing suit and feel confident, feel like a woman. And if I can take a risk, for the chance of that being possible, it's worth it to me. Before my surgery, I was completely stripped of my breasts. I was left with nothing but skin and really bad scars. But now, thanks to Dr. Dubro, I finally have breasts. They're the perfect size, my scars are minimized. Now I even feel sexy when I'm in my uniform. I feel like a woman. My breasts are amazing. It's not perfect, but no more level four disaster here. My breasts are looking great. My mother had an IUD and she got pregnant with me, so I'm the one percent, so... And she called you a disaster. No, I, no. she did not. <laughs> that was my daughter. When I was forming in the womb, somehow the IUD had come and pushed up against my face and deformed my nose. No kidding. Yeah. How would you know that, or how would the I... doctor even know that? I'm not convinced yeah. that this is from an IUD. I agree. Uh, I'm more convinced that general. this was a congenital issue. Your left side developed normally, your right side didn't. You have a really complicated, big question mark, unknown situation. You okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this, David. We can, you've lived with it this long, and we can, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry. No, 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 do not be sorry. So let me, let me give you a little bit more information. The point is you're missing bone and cartilage. And no matter what, your septum is horribly deviated. We gotta fix that. Because if I can get your headaches better, and I don't know if I can, but get your breathing better, get your lifestyle better, that right there, opening up your right airway is gonna do so much good for you. So I wanna do that, no matter what. As long as you give me the permission. I think I need it. <laughs> Before my surgery, my nose was absolute trash. It wasn't symmetrical, it was shifted to the left. I couldn't breathe and I was having horrible headaches. I hated looking in the mirror and I thought that my deformed nose was all that people would see when they'd look at me. But now, not only did Dr. Nassif give me a symmetrical, functional and good-looking nose, but I'm no longer the family IU disaster. 